It's been a little bit since I uploaded a video for Throne Rush, but I'll go ahead and make one of my progress. Well, I'm Castle 16 now, and I've gotten about every single, well, I got all the trophies so far, but this tournament I've just been lazy and not doing anything, so I probably won't. I'll probably get one at least, as uh, getting the one trophy is not too far away. Let's see, 262, and I'm uh, level 205, so go up about, if I go up 100 levels, I should be okay. But um, I do have just an update on my trophies and artifacts and all that stuff. I have three trophies left, but I'm not going to get them, reason being. Um, if you get all of them, um, when you get the wheel, you will not get no more ruins. So if you do miss one, you won't get no ruins to be able to, you know, to buy it. You only get resources and units. So I got these three here. So I'm going to leave those there and just keep piling up the ruins. Because when you get the wheels come out, as I was saying, uh, there won't be no more ruins uh off the wheel anymore just units and resources but um on my castle i put every single artifact that can fit and i believe that's every one of them that's in the game at, currently except for the new one that's in this tournament that will not fit on my castle and you can see how much uh hit points that he had given it extra 305 percent 28 thousand HP that's is <laughs> ridiculous but I mean I've been fighting just about all castles 17 18 19 the whole time so I mean they can they can hundred percent me but people that fight me on the same castle level usually does not no well, I mean just give a this guy here actually got 50% see see what he did here and uh, spells really don't do anything to my place uh, I spent a lot of gems on getting uh, negative uh, spell damage to all my uh, to my place so I think it's like at 40% so whatever your spell damage does you got to take off 40% on top of that This guy is just, he's just searching for 50%, going all the way around the whole map like that. And he wasn't even trying to do a victory or 100%. Let's go ahead and end that one. That's, that one's dumb. But, uh, yeah, I'm working on it. My units here, give you a little look at my units here. Let's see, go with Eagles. Hit the info button. And that's my HP, an extra 356% health for Warriors of Order. And bonus of 17% for Flying Warriors. And this one is 38% HP to all Warriors. Which, <laughs> ENTs are ridiculous. And they're, yeah, they're level 16. Yeah, I just got done upgrading him. Extra 356% equals 46,636 extra HP on top of the 13,100, which is insane for HP. An extra almost 5,000 for that one. I think uh, total he is um, like almost 70,000, like 68, 69, 70,000 HP. I mean, he does really well. Um... And smells, I have an active bonus of 42%, which is 100, extra 180 damage. And that one, an extra 273 damage. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, see how many eagles I got here. 35. And let's see. <laughs> oh, yeah, this one, this one here would be really easy. Just, uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, let's see. Put one, two there, one, two there. There's that. Two more there. Put one there. Let's see how that does. Um, let's see. I got one more battle to do. I'll go ahead and finish that out since I'm on it. Yeah, I should be able to complete this in like 20, 25 of them easily. Alright, go ahead and use my spells. If you deploy all your units out that you that you think you're going to need to take out the whole thing, it's better to do it all at one time than add some later. Because if you add some later, they'll end up dying like this because they don't go through the map fast enough. So I'm not too worried about it. Let's see, deploy that one out there with her, and that should take everything out. Oh, yeah. 
Her invisibility, I think, honestly, she is the most important hero in the game. And um, all my heroes, where are they at? They're up here. All my heroes, except for, you know, the last two, was Celestial. Uh, got them at level 19, and this one at level 11. But uh, I just unlocked this ability here. And I think this one unlocks at level 20. Yeah. So this one here heals allies within the radius. Cooldown is 15 seconds. Range is 10. Which, um, if you want to see a little video of her in action, I can do that. All right. The only thing bad about it, if you want to play a hero, you have to swirl thrust all my units. There we go. There we go. She heals only 140, so you don't really see her life go up too much. But I mean, it does help somewhat every 15 seconds she does it so she's getting ready to do it again or he whatever you want to call him yeah so you didn't really see the life go up there hardly any at all let's see go ahead and clean some of this stuff up over here But uh, is there anything else you want to see or know or any tips, tricks or anything like that? I know I posted a video about two years ago about it, but I know there's been a lot of updates since then. But um, feel free to send a message through here and uh, just let me know. Thanks.